Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Pedro Mule is the creative alias of Peter Muller. He chose this alternative name because a lot of his friends call him Pedro, and some folks tend to mispronounce his last name as Mueller instead of Muller. Pedro decided to embrace the mispronunciation by taking the name as a sort of totem, representing that dedicated work ethic he felt he shared with that pack animal, the mule. Pedro is an illustrator whose poster and logo designs are reminiscent of 1960s Grateful Dead posters. Graphic, a little trippy, and always cool. I knew Pedro when he was just a kid, catching a ride to high school with my son. So it was great fun for me to reconnect with him and hear how art became so important in his life. Well, I started making art as a kid, uh, I, as long as I can remember, honestly. And I was very fortunate to have parents that recognized that, especially my mom, and they were very supportive, which turned into uh, going to art classes during the summer. Uh, if I didn't even want to go, I mean, I was kind of dragged to it. But now looking back, Certainly, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I took every class I could, and it reached the point in my senior year, I maybe had two or three periods where that's all I did, and I loved it. You know, yeah, there were times where we were joking around with other friends that we uh, gathered in those classes, but it also gave you that free range to express yourself, and that's where my head and heart were at in high school anyway. I wasn't in the sports as much besides biking or skating, uh, you know, it just wasn't, that felt like home to me versus going to the football games and soccer games. It just wasn't for me. Uh, but with art, I always felt you, you found a place and no matter how wild and crazy you were, it always was accepted. And that's what I loved, you know, no matter what. The graphic black lines in Pedro's illustrations are in the tradition of both toulouse Lautrec and the psychedelic 60s. His posters and logos are definitely on the surreal side. It's different. Um, you know, I'd like to say it's original. You know, I'm sure it's, it's kind of a mashup of all sorts of artists throughout the years. Um, you know, I've been told it kind of looks like uh, Fillmore posters, the Stanley Mouse, Rick Griffin, those kind of artists. And even locally, uh, there was an artist years ago, uh, his name was Ron Wharton, that you'd come in Ocean City and these murals are just dripping off of the walls and it's like, you know, as a kid, it's like, oh my gosh, these are really wild and it actually made you feel comfortable with being different. It made you realize that no matter how crazy or wild your ideas may be, that it, it, it is accepted in this world. My style now, I found that doing digital work and I've been doing digital artwork for about four years now. And honestly, I really enjoy it. It's a challenge. I'm actually using a tablet to draw, so it's still hand-drawn. It's not, I'm not waving a wand in the air and presto. But the beauty about it is that the world is yours on there. I mean, really, any color you want, any style of brush, I mean, it really, you can take it wherever you want to. You know, for me, I'm just drawing art because I love it. And it's fun to see that other people get that same satisfaction just by looking at it. I, I still love pen and marker because it's permanent. You have to think about it. Me, I like nice clean lines and uh, stuff that pops really, uh, you know, when I create something, I want it to kind of jump out at you. I, I want you to not be able to just walk by and brush it off. I want you to stop for a moment and really take a minute to look at it. Pedro's day job is as a carpenter. His time off from work is fairly consumed with creative pursuits. You know, that helps me stay stable and balanced, but I also find a balance with having a full-time job and then coming home and being able to zone out or really dive into my artwork. And to me, I, I need that. I need that balance just like with anything else. It certainly helps me uh, be more enthusiastic about artwork rather than pencil pushing all day long and making it more of a job rather than an enjoyment. Uh, and then come my weekends, you know, that's all I really do is I come, you know, might have some errands to run, but overall come home and I'm drawing or something creative, woodworking, painting, you know, whatever I can get my hands on really. Whenever I'm drawing, I usually 
99% of the time I have my headphones on and I think with music it certainly opens up those floodgates for me at times where you can just focus on what you're doing you can escape from the real world for a while and I listen to just about anything from the Beatles to Slayer to Patsy Cline I mean there's there's either good or bad music but not to get off subject uh, it certainly helps um, kind of maintain my focus on what what the task is at hand uh, but as far as the process is concerned certainly music is involved um, I kind of cozy up maybe with a cup of coffee and uh, kind of shut out the world for a while and really kind of hone in on what what's in front of me Art is not only a pleasant pastime for Pedro. He says that supportive friends encouraged him to pursue it more professionally. Uh, about four years ago, you know, I was doing a lot of this for myself, and a buddy of mine, uh, his name is Bill Todd, he actually had called me and said, hey, I'm working at this brewery, and I'd love to get your art on the walls. Are you interested in doing a poster? And I said, sure. You know, out of a longtime friend, it developed this string of more artwork and so lately it's really just someone giving me a call or a shout on the, the web saying hey we love your work are you interested in doing this this or this um, I've had people come to me for album covers I've had people come to me for books recently which I never say no depending on the situation because you never know what experience you're going to gain out of that for me I love doing what I do and no matter what reaction I get as long as I'm happy with my piece that's all that really matters anymore um, it's like I said it's an escape from life it really uh, I hold that very dearly and I I don't take it for granted anymore I'm really uh, motivated to keep keep my craft strong and learn each and every day because honestly it's been a learning experience each and every day every time I draw uh, I've kept this kind of notion in my head to keep practicing every day, no matter how long or short the time is. Always try to keep a pen in your hand and a piece of paper in front of you, just to keep keep it uh, sharp. And it's, uh, it's tough, you know. There's times where I will go a week long, and I'm like, my gosh, you know, it, I, I feel like I'm out of place. But once I get back into it, I really, um, I'm like, ah, you know, this this is where I call home. You know? I guess my message to any other artist is to just be yourself, you know, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I think we get to a point where we're just, you get comfortable, and as much as we like that comfort, at the same time it becomes stagnant, it becomes a rut in my opinion, and I love shaking that up, I love breaking out of the norm, you know, try something different, whatever it may be, you know, and the thing is, is that you'll never know what you're good at, or you might have a talent for something that you may never have known until you try it. And life's too short to to hold back and to tell or to have the media or whoever telling you otherwise. If you feel it in your heart and your mind, go for it. Pedro will be participating in a show called Monstrous. Visit Pedro Mule Art on Facebook to find out more about his work. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and next week join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, and our underwriters for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com support. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.